On December 9th, I had the privilege to travel to Thessaloniki, Greece to meet the amazing team at A21. At Horatio Printing, we give a proceed each month to A21, and I was just so excited to see what this freedom team has been fighting for. Thessaloniki is a special, beautiful city on the water. It has a rich history with many wars, and it's also the place where Paul first brought the gospel to Europe. It's also the place where Christine Kane was first inspired to start this organization. She saw these missing children posters at the airport, and I saw the exact same ones. When she went to kind of look up what happened to these children, she realized that they were the victims of human trafficking. We drove through the red light district and it was gut-wrenching to know what was going on behind each door. I expected a lively scene like Bourbon Street or something with people and walking around in life, but it was mostly dark and dead, secretive and very protected. On this trip, we learned about the darkness in this country, the history of prostitution going back for ages and ages, and how in modern day, prostitution has seemed so normal. Majority of men in this country go to brothels. Women look the other way and consider it normal. It's almost like a rite of passage. A, a father might take his son to become a man. In most cases, this prostitution is forced. It's basically modern day slavery. I learned that a large percentage of prostitutes from all over Europe come from Bulgaria, which we traveled to with the A21 team. It's the poorest country in the European Union. There's little to no job opportunity, and many are duped into the sex trade by being given false promises of jobs elsewhere, or they're simply sold once they're too old to live in the orphanage. We also went to the City of Ghosts. This is a city where women are broken in before crossing the border to ensure that they'll be compliant when they do cross those borders to other countries like Greece or Germany, for example. The best part of this trip was truly learning about what A21 is doing to provide hope and freedom and restoration. It's a dark, daunting, terrible thing in our world today, but A21 is doing something and making a difference. Time after time, I heard about how A21 is following each person down the long road to recovery. I got to see the aftercare center. I got to see the home where these women are relearning how to live a life that they love. And I just got to hear all these stories of people being able to create their own jobs or find a job and, you know, get married or have a family. And it's just, it's incredible. They also can help with providing community education, paying debt, and fighting for justice in the courtroom. They're taking down criminals month after month and fighting and supporting our victims in court. The big takeaway here was we're doing something that matters. We're supporting an organization that matters and we can't stop now. We must continue. We will fight for freedom with A21. Thank you so much to everyone who supported Horatio Printing and because of that, you've supported A21. I'm just so thankful for you and what we've been able to do and let's continue because the best is yet to come.